Hey guys, today we have an interesting topic. How do you assign tasks automatically without manually assigning in Action Center? So in the Action Center you have seen once we have created a task from our automation workflow. This task has to be always you have to come over here and assign it to someone right assign it to self or assign it to someone. So you have to do it every time manually. So how can you automate this is the learning that we are going to have. How can I automate this so that it automatically get assigned to someone. All right. Now for this there is a there is a useful activity which is already present under the UI path dot persistence dot activities. Below this you have something called assign tasks. So today in this video we are going to learn how to use this assign tasks. Now for this all you need to do go to this assign task under this drag and drop before wait for form task and resume and it is below the create form task. So once the form task is created just below that I am using assign tasks. Okay, I am using assign task just below that so that once the form task is created in action center, right, this assign task will assign that specific task to someone. Okay, in this example myself, I want to assign it automatically to myself. So how to do that? Let's understand. So this entire workflow I have already shown in the last couple of videos and I'm pretty sure you already have created this workflow in case you have not created. I would request you to please do watch the previous video in case you are already aware on how to, about the action center and how what are these activities then only for this specific assigned task you can continue with this video. So let's get started. Now the, there are two different things this activity is asking. One is the input variable and the other one is the output variable. The input variable which is task user assignment which user you would like to assign it to okay now for this let's first of all create a variable control plus k and you can i'm creating a variable called user assignment so do not create a variable with the name task user assignment reason being this task user assignment is one of the method and you would have problem so give it a different name don't put the same upper title give it slightly different name so here i'm using user assignment okay once this variable is created go to the variable panel and in the user assignment i am going to make some modification so if you see the moment i have created automatically it has created is its variable type let's say you are not creating it let's say i'm going to delete this and i'm going to create the variable from here user assignment then i am going to also tell you what are the data type you need to select the variable type so let me show you you can click on this click on browse for types here type list okay scroll down a little bit and go to system dot collection dot generic select this and here once again click for browse for types so all this uh, data type is related to task user assignment we are assigning a task to a user right so task user assignment so you can see ui path dot persistence dot activities dot task under that i'm selecting task user assignment and click on okay okay so this way you can set your variable similar way we also have a second variable here so before we jump on to the second variable let me tell you because this is a list type let's initiate a list so that we can use it so new list of okay i am initiating this so a uh, new list of what is the data type here we have selected task user if you if you highlight this you will find if you if you could read the gray box it clearly it is tells you task user assignment okay so i will type task user assignment simple so this is how you will be initiating it so once it is initialized that can be i can add some names into this list okay i can add couple of users into the list so that's why i am initiating it in the beginning now similar way the second variable that is required is failed task assignment so here i'm going to create another variable control plus k failed task or i'll say fail assignment do not give this exact name 
just change it failed task assignment okay so this is the variable i have created enter the moment you do that it will automatically give you the uh, you don't have to manually go through it it, it it has automatically created the variable type and the variable type for this one is task i am highlighting it because if i move the pointer it goes out so if, if you read it completely task assignment response okay so let's initiate that new list of task assignment response okay this is the one that i'll be using clear so both the variables have been declared so this is what you should do for the assigned task activity so once this is done next is this is a list kind of a uh, data type so into this list i need to add couple of users whom i wanted to assign the task okay i am going to assign one task to myself now in this example so let me use a art to collection activity and in the art to collection activity user assignment right this is the input user assignment so above this activity i am using a art to collection and i am going to use this user assignment variable in the collection okay and uh, the data type if you see the data type the data type needs to be selected as task user assignment okay now there is no error everything is set just check this task user assignment i have selected okay this is done now the next very important item is whom you would like to add into the collection so let me create something called new task user assignment so remember every time we created a task it has a id right so for each specific id i want to add a user right that is the understanding so here what i'm going to do in the bracket let me make it slightly bigger so new task user assignment and here i'm going to use task dot id why i'm using task dot id and where this task variable came from if you look at the top right create form task the output variable was task so to that variable i'm adding it so add to collection let's go again so i'm doing new task user assignment task dot id comma to which id i want to add so here you need to put the email address or the user id so how do you find the email address i'm going to show you first of all log into your orchestrator okay log into your orchestrator and in that i am going to show you where do you find that user id so first of all hit on the folder you are in let's say default folder whatever your studio is connected to so my studio is connected to it folder so here i am selecting the it folder so if it is connected to default select the default one so once you select you will have a, a object over here which says user right so click on this and once you click on that icon here you would find the username so if, if you have added multiple users then you would find all of them here i have only added myself so i'll click on this click on edit and here's there is something called username so i have kept the username as exactly the email address so the this email address i do not use it so do not try to send this is a dummy email address so do not send emails to this i do not check it so i am going to copy this email address which is my user id so one more thing if you go to the docs.uipath.com and try to understand how to use assign task it clearly tells you assigns one or more tasks in the current workflow to a user in orchestrator to a single user so if you want to add to multiple then use multiple add to collection depending on the uh, logic so here i am adding to a user in orchestrator by using an email address or a username so if you see it is saying using an email address or a username so the username field when you come here you can see this is the username field and in this username i have not kept a different username rather than my email address so i'm going to use that okay so i'll go to studio and here in double quotes i'm just simply entering the email address and clicking on okay that's all so now you would see when i run this particular workflow the task will get created generally the task gets created and it stays if i go back to the actions center 
it generally stays when a task is created it generally comes in the unassigned option right it comes to the unassigned option so instead of coming to unassigned it will directly go to the pending it will get automatically get assigned so first of all let me clear uh, whatever is there and then we will run that automation workflow so i'm approving all the pending ones then we will run this workflow okay now both the pending is blank and and the unassigned is also blank now we will see when i run this workflow it should directly send and assign and once it is assigned it will come to pending so it will directly come to the pending it should not stay in the assign unassigned state so let's run it and check what's going to happen okay uh, so here are asking me the enter the amount let's say i'm going to enter 8000 it has created a form it is creating a form task if you look at here r2 collection the property collection of r2 collection is not initialized so let me see what is the problem r2 collection is not initialized okay let's go to the variable okay i think it is somehow it has disa disappeared let me do it new list of what I, how do you identify what to do here if you highlight you would find at the end dot task dot task user assignment so i will say task user assignment okay and then next thing uh, let's initialize this one as well i will say new list of task so how do i know if you highlight it tells you right it is task assignment response if you see if i highlight this at the end it says task assignment response okay so both the things has been initialized no problem okay no error so let's run it so what happened it has already created a task so let me delete this and let's run it again so you got to know right if you get an error how how you are going to fix that okay so now let's run it and see okay mm, let's say let me enter 9000 okay look at the task created the id number is 735 okay and now uh, r2 collection executing r2 collection is closed so it has already assigned so the the id number is 735 ending with 735 so let's go to our action center and now you can see if i click on unassigned there is no activity but if i go to pending 735 right 735 is already assigned to myself so this is how you will be automatically assigning tasks in the action center using the assign task activity and i'm going to approve let's say i'm going to approve 8000 for this guy and done right so this is very very useful how to assign tasks automatically without manually assigning it in action center all right so this must be pretty clear such a simple and useful activity that we have seen all right guys so thank you so much for watching we are going to come up with next interesting information and videos for you Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.